everybody, it's Dr. Rick. Uh, hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, it turned out to be a beautiful day here in the H. Uh, hopefully it'll stay that way. Look, uh, you see the uh, intros to these videos so you know that we are actively uh, pushing to raise funds for the work that we've been doing in the black community than two decades. Um, I'm not going to get into all of the stuff if you followed, if you've been to the site, if you've been to some of the events, you know. If you had a child that's worked with me, you know. If you've worked with me, you know. So this isn't something new. I didn't just pop up yesterday. I've been doing this for a while. Hell, I've been actively uh, sharing and providing resources online for at least 12 years and been doing it another 12 or 13 before that uh, consistently. And so this stuff doesn't just pop up. It doesn't just happen. It requires the support of the community. And if we're really truly talking about rebuilding the community, if we're talking about enhancing the community, if we're talking about black empowerment, then we must also understand that it comes by collective support. Uh, to expect one person or two people or uh, several to do it all alone and everybody sit back uh, isn't isn't uh, isn't uh, reasonable. Uh, I, I, I'm not into the fair thing. I don't believe in fair. Life has never been fair, uh, not from my perspective. But it's definitely not something that we can expect a lot from Dr. King. Um, one thing he said is very few will fight for it, but everybody will want to participate in it once it's achieved. Uh, that's not how things should work. But anyway, that's it. If you believe in what we're doing, show some love, show some support. I want to talk about something that we hardly ever talk about. And, you know, we talk about mass incarceration. I go hard in the paint for my brothers when it comes to mass incarceration. Uh, when it comes to disproportionality, uh, in special education refers to young black boys. I go hard, I go hard to paint for young black males um, and black men all the time. And of, of course, ladies know I've been going hard to paint for you. But something that we don't talk about a lot that's concerning me is the now 74,000 missing black women in America. I mean, just fell off the face of the earth. We're not talking about people who are in jail. When we say 1.5 million black men are missing, we know where they're at. 1.3 of them are in prison. Uh, we know where they're at. They're just not where they are supposed to be. They're not where they, they're needed. When we say 74, 75,000 black men, women are missing. I remember when I first started doing this research, it was less than 60,000, and the numbers just keep climbing. When we say that, we're saying that literally a black female over the age over the over the age of what would be considered puberty, so we're talking of teen and up, we have 75,000 plus, and that number's probably grown since the last time I've had a chance to really dive into it. Missing, gone, and we don't talk about it. We have to have a value on the lives of our children. We have to have a value on the lives of our women, and I, and, and, and I can't think of a monetary value that's high enough to say, okay, if each child is worth this, each one, that it, they should be considered priceless. And if they're priceless, then we should have uh, a certain level of concern for the fact that they're missing. Where are they? Human trafficking, sex trafficking, uh, murder, um, part of exploitation, which is a part of the sex trafficking thing. Um, organ uh, harvesting. We are sitting around and our women are being plucked and our, our ladies, our babies are being plucked from right underneath us and we're casually sitting by. And I'm not just talking to men here. 
I'm not just laying this on the shoulders of men. I'm laying this on the shoulders of everyone that should be screaming at the top of their lungs. Uh, everyone that should be saying, okay, what the hell is going on? Everyone that should be saying, we're not going to stop looking. That's why anytime a, 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 a picture of somebody missing passes by my desk, I float it as far as I can float it because I want something to happen. We've got to have a clear agenda when it comes to how we are going to deal with all of these black people who are coming up missing and these black women specifically who are coming up missing in large numbers. You're talking about 75,000 women just gone. You know, you're saying, well, hell, it's millions of black women. That's the problem. We find a way to rationalize and justify horrific shit. Excuse me. Uh, I know that as of late, you know, my restraint on my tongue hasn't been that great. I'm tired of restraining. I'm tired of coupling myself in and behaving. Um, I'm going to be me. And sometimes this is who I am. And that's just it. But what are we going to do? You know, I'm constantly working to try to create safe spaces for women, but there are so many things that put our women in jeopardy. Fleeing from domestic violence and ending up into in, in something worse. Fleeing incest and ending up in something worse. We owe it to ourselves, we owe it to our community, we owe it to our women to actually stand up and fight, be a voice. We can't sit up and say, well, you know, they've been missing for a while. I'm tired of seeing black faces pass across and then disappear into the darkness because there's a simply forgotten about, they matter. And the idea that they don't matter tells us why we're where we're at as a people. Until we start to matter to one another in a way that when something happens to you, I feel it. We're never going to be what we are meant to be. Forget what they are and how they act and how they behave. They aren't us. And we need to understand that we're built different. We're made different. Um, our spirits are different and we need to be behaving and acting how we're designed to act because that's where our power is. They want us to be uh, empty and, 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 and void of concern for one another because then that's the game. That's their place. That's where they play. That's how they move. That's how they operate. We, we, we can't do that and win with them. We can't do that and end up uh, being on a level playing field. We're not them. Doesn't mean that we're supposed to be stepped on and that we can't come hard when it's time to come hard and we can't deal with, you know, we can't meet force with force. It just means that we need to care about ourselves. We need to care about our elderly. We need to care about our women. We need to care about our children, our less fortunate. It needs to be an internal uh, evaluation of where we're at and we need to change the way we move. It's that simple. I'm really, 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 I mean, I, I just look at this and then, you know, because of what I do, I get a lot of this stuff. So I'm looking at it and I'm going, who cares? And I'm not saying I don't care. I absolutely care. But I'm saying, who cares? Who's out there caring enough that this even matters? When you share it, how many people are going to click it and just keep moving? It's just something you see and you go, okay, man, when are we going to sit up and say something's not right? When are we going to sit up and say this isn't acceptable. When are we going to sit up and say it's time to do something different? We are constantly losing because we are constantly absent of who we are and we're in the midst of an identity crisis and because we are trying to move and act and behave and be accepted by them, we're behaving like them and we can't find the purity of who we are. And in losing that, we lose our values, our interests, our principles, the very thing that give us our power, give us our direction, give us our force and give us something that we can literally build on. We got to stop being extracted from our identity. We've got to stop being extracted from our unique humanity and we need to start standing in it boldly. That's my challenge. I'm about to get out of here. Look, don't forget, show some love and support. Go to the, 
description box. Click the link and get.